Hey, what's up, garden friends? I'm finally getting around to doing a video on what's in bloom. A little late for some of these guys. I have a really bad habit with my orchids of waiting way too long to film them. I, d I don't know why I do it. I show off everything else. I'm like, hey, look at this dirt on the ground. But I, for some reason, always forget to show my orchids. I don't know, doesn't make sense. There's not a ton in bloom right now either. So this actually should probably be pretty quick, depending on how much I ramble. I will go ahead and do like a quick update walkthrough with like my vandas and stuff like that, I suppose. For starters, hiding behind this leaf. Let me fix that. This is my Encyclia radiata. And this is its first time blooming. I absolutely love the radiata. I love the pseudobulbs on it. They're really, really cool looking. At the sky last winter and it's taken off, done fairly well, grown a few new pseudobulbs and flowered. As you can see, it's the point of this video. The flowers are like a really pale, kind of creamy. They're actually sort of a light green color but on the inside lots of purple stripes and they smell really nice that's just an added bonus i was happy about that this does have some snails on it i need to go to the store and pick up some sluggo sluggo is what i like to use for my snails and slug problems and then right here in the front to tag gilded urchin ontario fairly common orchid but i really like the blooms on these guys one because the sprays are just really long and really pretty i like how they come out and arch and this is it's on its last leg but hey i'm getting it done so that's that's what's important here i have noticed a very mild kind of sweet and spicy scent off of this guy at nighttime or really like sunset time that's nighttime and the last of what's actually in bloom and flower right now is this lovely cymbidium it is street of gold mana really pretty white flowers speckling is very heavy you can see the pollen's coming out of them so they're not gonna hold on for too terribly much longer. And these guys are actually just about on their way out as well. They've been in bloom for a really long time. Actually, probably just like three weeks. That's not too bad. They have been taking the heat really, really well. I was actually just happy that it bloomed this year, to be honest. And since it's blooming, I suppose that means I'll be repotting this as soon as that spike comes off of there. That's always fun. Cymbidiums are kind of hit and miss with me, particularly just because the summers are kind of unpredictable. I never really know what the weather is gonna be like. Some summers are cool, some are hot, some are really rainy, some are bone dry. Summer's kind of been a combination of all of those things. That's why I'm super happy that it bloomed. Isn't she pretty? I think it's so lovely. I love a white cymbidium, even though it's kind of backlit a little bit. Sorry about that, but the clouds are pretty. Aren't those clouds pretty? I mean, the blue, whatever. Okay, moving on. And here's a terrestrial. I love my terrestrial orchids. This is a spathoglatus. The variety is called Mellow Yellow. Two spikes on it right now. There's one down here under the leaves and another one right back here. What else to say about it? It's a spathoglatus. Pretty simple and easy orchid. Now, my zygo bloomed and I did a repotting video on that. The flowers fell off, of course, after I tore it apart and repotted it. No surprise there. Uh, it's tucked away back there, but it's recovering okay. Has a couple of leaves yellowing out, but they're yellowing out on a very old pseudobulb, so I'm not that worried. The newer growth, the newer pseudobulbs that are in there, yeah, they look okay. Luckily, I think that this has worked out all right. And then over here is one of those epidendrums that I repotted in another video. Has a lot of nice roots coming out, a ton of new growth. I mean, it's an epidendrum. They're pretty simple and very forgiving plants. Not in flower, but it'll probably go back into spike in no time at all. It's the same for this one, the hanging basket epidendrum. Because of the coconut liner, I've had had to water this quite a bit. If I could do it again, I would probably line the outside and not the bottom of the liner with like plastic bags or something like that. But so far, I think it's fine. I think in the winter time when it's inside, it'll benefit from having that airiness in there. Just because it's gonna be a little bit more prone to rotting in the cooler temperatures in my grow space. So it that should work out well for how I grow them. Okay, all right. I don't really gotta work our way through here. Oh gosh, there's probably all kinds of critters. Vandas. I have all my Vandas hanging up back here. Doing quite well, lots of root growth. They seem happy. I do think though that they need some more sun. Just cause as the season has changed, the sun's lower in the sky and it's actually, it's not reaching back here quite as well as it was. On camera, they look a little bit lighter green than they actually are. So I'll probably be moving these guys into more sun fairly soon. Like you can see up here on this guy, if it'll focus that the growth is kind of spirally. There we go. It's way up above my head, but you can see how that growth is spiraling. That's because the sun's not really even there. So that one needs to be moved for sure. There is a spike coming out of the Pachara, which doesn't really mean that much because they're very forgiving. They just bloom, 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 bloom. And that's not a super impressive looking spike. So my plan with all these guys is to move them into a little bit more sun and up their fertilizing. Like I said though, lots and lots and lots of root growth this summer. I mean, a lot of these roots weren't even here when I brought them out. Oh, and then here's that brassy amount that I did last winter in my growth space. It is growing like crazy. I mean, look at how all those roots have taken on. They're doing fantastic. I love brassias. Now, these are all my Tariq, the 
sun-loving pandas, they really need to be moved. They're definitely not getting enough sun. So I'll probably actually do that uh, sometime in a few days. Esco Phoenicia down here looking okay. Got a little bit sun scorched when I brought it out, but it has put on a ton of new growth. is isn't really focusing. I'm in the dark right now. It's very cloudy out and I'm under the trees. Sorry. Oh, and I've been doing something that a lot of y'all probably won't like, but with any of my orchids, particularly my fowls that aren't doing well, I've been kind of tossing them back here on top of these pine bark nuggets. That's what I mulch this whole area with very, very, very heavily because the humidity lasts a little bit longer back here. The summer has been kind of dry, surprisingly. So. And that's actually working out pretty well. I'm getting a lot of new root growth out of there, and then I'm gonna go ahead and move them back into real pots, obviously. But this way they're in contact with the moist environment, but they aren't like sopping in it. Oh, look at that. And there's a spike on the sherry baby. I'm just now noticing that. That kind of stinks. I was getting ready to repot you. I mean, that's a good thing. I'm excited about spikes, but. But I really need to repot this one very, very, very badly. And this one, I've been doing the same. I have it sitting back here on top of the mulch just because it's helping to retain the moisture a little bit longer. And those pseudobulbs are looking really healthy, nice and plump, so they seem to be okay with it. Working out just fine. The reason I only am doing this with the pine bark nuggets is because they break down a little bit slower and they're bigger and chunkier. So that's that was my thinking there. I don't know, it was experimental, but it seems to be going pretty well. Oh, and vanilla orchid, doing well. Lots of new growth, but I do need to move this to more sun for sure. Just the temperatures have been so up and down that I kept moving it to make sure that it wasn't going to get burnt and die. And then I was afraid to move it back into the sun. But in a week or two, things will be cooling off and I'll start acclimating it back into higher light. They can take a lot of light, but it's variegated. I mean, look at some of these leaves. And you can see back there, some of the leaves have no green in them at all, which makes them kind of useless, but they're pretty. But that's not going to get better by putting it into more sun. Sun, so I'm still gonna wait a couple more weeks for temperatures to cool a smidge. Okay, you're too loud. Okay, one last thing. It's not an orchid, but it's pretty. This is a bromelia that I picked up from the botanical gardens last summer. I do not know the name of it, which is unfortunate, but it put up this new spike a few weeks ago and it is so pretty. Very large too. I'm okay, that doesn't look that big on camera. I swear, this is really big. The mother plant's still in there. I haven't pulled it yet just because it hasn't been rotting at all. And usually I wait for them to start to rot a little bit and then I cut them out, but I'm probably gonna need to do that sometime soon because it's overtaking the pot. There's another pup in there I need to divide out also. And these guys are just now going out of bloom too. You can kind of, not they're overexposed. Well, just, just trust me. They were really pretty. All right, I didn't show them sooner. Curcuma is bloom. What am I doing? These aren't orchids, neither the, I'm just gonna show some pretty things. That curcuma, very pretty. Look at the flowers on that anthyrum. Aren't those gorgeous? I had to like take my tripod and do one of these things, which means you probably couldn't hear anything I was saying. All right, that's gonna do it. Just a quick walk around, looking at some progress and what's going on with the orchids. There's so many more updates I could give you, but it would take forever. So when I get to repotting, I'll go over those things then. We can sit around and have fun nerdy plant nerdy chat time together. Speaking of which, comment down below. Say hi, let me know what's going on in your garden with your orchids. Follow my social media down there as well. I use Instagram more than anything else. Follow me and I'll follow you back. I love looking at everybody's pictures. Don't forget to leave the video a thumbs up. It helps so much. I really appreciate every single one of those. Thank you. Subscribe as well. I upload multiple times a week. And I really will try, I promise. I'm going to try to get more consistent with the orchid videos. I'm so sorry. As always, everybody, most importantly, keep on growing. Bye-bye.